Guys, I haven't even started the vlog. So hey, welcome back. I'm with Maddie. The Madster. We're doing some work in a coffee shop. Yeah, she's trying to post a TikTok. I don't know that life. Um, we're in this coffee shop and it's so freezing. Like everybody's sitting in here with their coats on. It's crazy. The coffee shop could be warm. Yeah. We might as well go sit outside with this. But. Anyway, I'm just editing this vlog and I wanted to say what's up because I didn't even I didn't even intro it for you. So we're gonna do some work, I have some emails that I need to send and then I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Quickly stopped by Sephora on my way home just because I needed to get a new moisturizer and then I also picked up a couple new things. I ended up going for just the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. I was using this last year during the winter and it's just such a good simple hydrating moisturizer. This one's really good for dry skin and honestly it's one of those moisturizers that's just super simple, it doesn't smell like anything and yeah it goes on super well. I also picked up the new serum from Biosance. This is their squalane and copper peptide plumping serum. It's supposed to be really good at hydrating and just making your skin nice and dewy, which I need. <laughs> when it's so cold outside. And then I also just picked up two face masks. I love the ones from Dr. Jart. They're my absolute favorite. They're a little bit more expensive than your average face mask, but they're definitely worth the money. I think they're like $9 each. Um, and I do them maybe once, like every couple weeks when my skin just needs a little boost. This is the one that I always get. They also have a blue one that I really like. And then I picked up this one and I'm, I'm gonna try it. It's supposed to have like what does it say? Peptides and elastic complex. So I'll let you guys know what I think about those later. Good morning, you guys. It's Thursday. I just finished wrapping my ooh, my wraps <laughs> because I'm going to go to Gloveworks again. I have so many sessions that I need to use up um, before April. It's actually crazy. There we go. I think I have like 16 sessions that I need to use up before next month. So I'm gonna try and go today, tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday and Saturday, which will be four days in a row. And I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but we'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna start my day off with a workout and then I have to come back here, shower. Um, I'm meeting Troy in Soho because he wants to do a little Soho shoot. And then I actually have a half day of work. So it's gonna be a little bit of a busy day, but um, I'm excited. It's beautiful out. It's gonna be 16 and sunny, 16 degrees Celsius and sunny, believe it or not. So um, very, very excited about that. Sorry, I'm like listening to a podcast right now and it just started playing. Um, I have been listening to some like manifestation material again recently, just because I feel like I need a reminder. I get a lot of questions about this and I don't talk about it that much because I know that it's almost like a religion. Like a lot of people don't believe in it or subscribe to it. And I personally do. I don't even know how I came across it, but it just, just came like in my YouTube and then it started being recommended in my podcast. And I was like, okay, this is probably a sign that I need to start listening to it again. I just feel like we all sometimes like when life happens or when you get busy, you just kind of become sidetracked and distracted. And I myself can fall back into old ways of thinking. I'm not like a negative thinker by nature at all. But um, I think just by default, we have ways of responding or ways of thinking to the scenarios that happen in our lives. And sometimes you just need to like rewire your brain to think differently or to respond differently. So I've been trying to work on that. Um, one of the things that actually came up in one of the videos that I was watching is this woman was saying that you want to only think about the things that you want. 
and she gave this example of um, how a lot of us will say something that we want and follow it up with, but I don't have it, or but this, or but that, blah, blah, blah. And it's so true, and I notice this in a lot of people, especially when I'm at work, because um, I don't really think my friends are, are like this very much, but I just notice it in, in outside situations where a lot of people just love to talk about the things that aren't going well, or the things that are bad in their lives, or, you know, again, like to use the example, they, they talk about the things that they want, but there's like always a reason why it can't happen, or always some, you know, excuse almost. I'll just use that word. So yeah, anyway, I've been listening to that, and I've been trying to just like become really aware of it and change my thoughts when those you know those thoughts and feelings come up anyway i'm going to go to the gym i'm not going to take you guys with just because i filmed so much yesterday and i actually i really have to get going but i will see you when i'm back here after <laughs> i just roasted these sweet potatoes and i'm gonna make a little salad with chicken and balsamic vinaigrette and that's gonna be my lunch i forgot to film it but i had two pieces of avocado toast when i came home from my workout so I'm just gonna make this for my lunch and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. I just got ready. I wanted to show you guys this new pair of earrings that I just got in the mail from Monica Venator. You guys know my favorite jewelry brand. They are these gold hoops, the perfect size in my opinion. They have these little jewels on them. Um, this is from their new Mother of Pearl collection and I've been wearing them every single day since I got them. So if you guys are in the market for a new pair of hoops, like look how pretty. So pretty and dainty, but still have something special with the jewels in there. Um, I have a link and I have a discount code for these. So I'll have it linked down below and you should definitely check it out. I love their pieces. I just, honestly, their quality is so good. And yeah, it's just like perfect for my style. So I want to share that with you guys. I am trying to figure out what I want to wear for the shoot. Um, I think I might just do this blazer and this turtleneck. Every time I shoot with Troy, I'm always wearing black. And because we're going into spring, I'm like, maybe I should wear something that's more spring. But we'll see. I'll show you guys what I end up going with. <laughs> okay, we're going to go with this jacket instead because it's a little bit more of a cooler vibe. And Troy prefers oversized over neutral blazer <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do i'll try and link this i don't know if it's still available i got it off etsy around my birthday last year um so yeah if i can find it i will have it linked for you guys down below i'm with my guy there he is is that your little camera it's my it's little so camera cute. isn't it it is cute it's nice and small. It's good travel. Oh, I'm a little bright. Okay, I just ran into. <laughs> I never, I never know how to act when this happens. Hello. But this is Alyssa. And this is Jordan. <laughs> and Alyssa watches. You don't really know me. I well now I know you. Oh. Yeah, I know you're oh. <laughs> But they both just got signed in New York. So Yay, it's finally. a good day for everyone. Watch okay. Dad's videos if you want to get signed. <laughs> so. want and read her book. Exactly. Um, I love you guys. I wish I had a book on me. Good morning. It's Friday. Who doesn't love a Friday? Um, I just got back from Trader Joe's, grabbed a couple of groceries for the weekend, and now I'm going to do some skincare really quick. Before I get my day started, I have a couple of emails to do and just like prep for videos for next week and then I am going to just have a chill rest of the day. I'm going to meet Rebecca downtown later because she is getting, um, she's having her hair done in the city. She's actually going to Mercedes. She's seeing my hair girl. So um, I'm going to meet her downtown later and we're going to get lunch. And then we're just going to see what we end up doing later. I don't really feel like doing anything crazy tonight because tomorrow um, 
one of my friends is having a little get together at her place and then Sunday night I have a birthday party to go to so I just want to like I honestly just kind of want to get lunch and go back home and chill for the rest of the day but um we will see what happens I'm really loving this new serum by the way I've only had it for a few days obviously but it's it's really pretty good so far I'm gonna use my Laneige cream I booked a really spontaneous trip last night <laughs> with Mel, actually. So we're going on a little trip in a couple weeks from now. I'm trying to think when. It's like in March, early March. We're gonna go somewhere that I've never actually vlogged. I've been there before, but I've never vlogged there before. So I think it'll be really fun. And honestly, after that trip, there's gonna be some really exciting vlogs for like about a month. Maybe longer, probably. April is going to be a really crazy, exciting, fun month. I have to stop myself from mentioning it sometimes because I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it too soon. But um, like, I just want to vlog the experience and then share the videos with you guys. But yeah, spring is going to be a fun, exciting time, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to do a little bit of work and then see you guys when I'm heading out later. back home <laughs> it was a very short-lived trip out into the world oh my gosh we um we ended up going to Westville which is like right by the hair salon we both love Westville so we just got like their lunch market plate if you guys are ever in the city and you want something healthy something easy you should definitely go there I know I've vlogged about it so many times but it's definitely one of my favorite like easy spots to go to so yeah and then after we wanted to go for a walk but it was just so windy and cold um so we both just decided to go home i even have a clip where i tried to tell you guys something on my way to see her and you just can't hear anything because of the wind so um yeah i just came home i changed into sweats and i think i'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day i'm not gonna do anything i want to start the new season of love is blind on netflix if you guys haven't watched it or watched the first season you should definitely watch it it's one of those shows that i don't know you're not going to get anything out of it mentally but it is just kind of fun and interesting to watch so yeah i think that's what i'm going to do for the next few hours we are going to do a little wine and face mask situation together I don't do this very often because I just like to save my drinking for when I'm with friends but tonight I really felt like just having a little chill night with myself so I'm gonna take my makeup off I decided that I'm just gonna do the one that I always do which is this yellow one so I'm excited the skin's gonna feel really good after Okay, so I've shown my evening skincare so many times, I'm not going to go into too much depth. But for those of you who are new, I just used this micellar cleansing water. Great product to take off the makeup and take off like that base layer. And then I always cleanse afterwards, but it kind of depends on like how much makeup I'm wearing, what I use. So today I'm just going to use my aloe cleanser because I'm not wearing that much makeup. Um, I'll have this all linked down below and then on the days where I've worked and I have a lot of makeup on I always go in with this cream cleanser um, this one's from Drunk Elephant I also really love the Clinique one I've spoken about it so many times but um, this is just really powerful at melting off heavy makeup especially eye makeup um, and it just takes everything off. And then I also, one last step, I always go in with um, like this little toner after. And this is just really good at neutralizing the skin, like neutralizing the pH before you put on any products like retinol or BHAs. You guys know I like to use chemical exfoliants and stuff, but 
yeah so i'm gonna cleanse my skin really quick um i'm gonna use this one i'm gonna use this the other sink because this sink is currently not working it's time for me to move out guys it's time um and then when i come back i'm gonna put on the the mask. This is the Ceramidin mask from Dr. Jart. If you guys aren't familiar with this brand, they also have a moisturizer, which is their Ceramidin moisturizer. It's absolutely amazing. I actually wanted to buy that moisturizer, but they didn't have it in stock when I was in Sephora. So that's why I ended up going with this one, but this one's honestly really great too. Okay, so this is a sheet mask. It's basically for strengthening your moisture barrier, which people who have dry skin I have dry skin they tend to have like a weakened moisture barrier because their skin is very dry or it tends to get irritated very fast okay so usually sheet masks are super slippery and this one is actually more creamy um and that's because it's meant to like heal your moisture barrier here we go i always have a hard time lining it up Another reason why I absolutely love this mask, like this one in particular, is because it just stays on better than all the other sheet masks I've ever tried on. I think it's because it's creamy and not slippery. And then I always go inside of the pouch and I squeeze out like whatever excess product is in there and I put it on my neck. So ratchet, I'm like sticking my hand inside of this. <laughs> okay, I can't laugh, I can't laugh but just put it on my neck, like on the sides and on my hands. Okay, I'm gonna lay down. I look so crazy right now. I'm gonna lay down for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna set a timer and then I will see you guys after. Okay, so I took off the mask. I cheated a little bit because I took off the mask while I was on the phone. I got a crazy text message while I had my mask on. Um, I went to the doctor like sometime in September for my annual physical and they did blood work and like all the routine stuff that you do at a physical. So anyway, while I was sitting down, I got a text saying that my balance was complete. So I click on the link and it shows me that I have an outstanding balance of like $2,000. For blood work, there's no way that this is possible because first of all, I have health insurance. Like there's a reason why I pay thousands of dollars a year to have health insurance in America because you know, healthcare is not great here. Also, I'm putting on a little moisturizer now. After a mask, I don't do anything crazy. I just use my moisturizer and that's it. So anyway, I called these people and I was like, listen, <laughs> There's clearly a mistake because this, like, I would never have, first of all, I use an app to check if, you know, the doctor that I want to see is in my network. And then um, I always call to make sure that whatever service I'm getting is covered because there's just so many loopholes and so many things they can do to charge you more money. So anyway, the girl on the phone looked into my case and she was like, yeah, apparently they filed it to the wrong insurance company and it's all gonna be fine. I... I'm probably gonna end this vlog right here, honestly, because I decided that I'm gonna film a little Sunday in my life vlog this weekend. Um, next week I have a crazy work week. I'm working, I'm flying on Tuesday, I'm working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday's not confirmed, but I'm most likely working on Friday, and then I'm also probably gonna be working the weekend, so I'm not gonna be able to vlog that much. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do instead is just film like a Sunday in my life. I feel like that'll be fun, and I can show you some of my planning. I can show you some like skincare and hair care stuff that I do usually on Sundays. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited for that. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.